Hi, hello to everyone. Myself, Dr. D. Sudhakar, working as Professor and Head of Mechanical Department at Siddharth Institute of Science and Technology, Puttur. Today, we are going to discuss about this electrochemical machining process. This electrochemical machining process is one of the advanced machining process or special manufacturing process or non-traditional machining process in modern machining method subject. And this electrochemical machining process is uses electrochemical energy. And this electrochemical machining process was used but with various name, with the different name in the long back for the removal of metal from the workpiece in 17th century itself. But from the last couple of decades only, it was using for very, very useful purpose. And this electrochemical machining process is also known as contactless electrochemical farming process. Means there is no direct contact between the tool and workpiece. But tool is required. So whatever the shape you want to reproduce on the workpiece, the same shape of the tool you have to manufacture. And if you use the tool in this machining process, the same shape will be reproduced in the workpiece. But in between these tool and workpiece, we have to supply the electrolyte in between the tool and workpiece. And the main important point or feature of this electrolysis is that this electrical energy is used. See, in this machining process, the electrical energy is used to produce a chemical reaction. So, the chemical reaction is used to remove the metal from the workpiece, but that chemical reaction is produced with the help of this electrical energy. So that the machining process is based on the principle of, known as, based on this principle, this machining process can also be known as electrochemical machining. This process works on the principle of Faraday's loss of electrolysis. Coming to this uh, Faraday's law, the Michael Faraday discovered that if two electrodes are placed in a bath containing containing a conductive liquid and DC potentials, that is a DC voltage is of 5 to 25 volts. If you apply it in, in between them, if it crosses them, the metal can be depleted from the anode and plated on the cathode. So, if you place two electrodes and one is the cathode, another one is the anode in a container and we are going to and that container is having some conductive liquid. And if you supply the voltage of 5 to 25 volts in between them, then automatically what will happen? The material is removed from the anode. And whatever the material is removed from the anode, that is plated on the, means it is formed on the surface of the cathode. And this principle was in use for a long time. But whatever the machining is taking place or whatever the technology or whatever the process we are using in this electrochemical machining process is reverse of the electroplating. Electroplating means whatever the material is removed from the anode, it is forming, it is falling on the or plating, it uh, creating a, a layer on the surface of the cathode but it was not taking place it is not same as that one electroplating process this electrochemical machining process is a reverse of the this electroplating means whatever the material is removed from the anode that is not forming a layer on the surface of the cathode simply we are going to remove that material as a chip or a small small particles with the help of this electrolyte this electrochemical machining can be thought of a controlled anodic dissolution at the atomic level. Means this electrochemical machining, in electrochemical machining process, the material is removed at atomic level with the help of this controlled anodic dissolution. So here we are going to supplying very high current, relatively low potential difference through an electrolyte. Here the main important points is an electrolyte is required. And along with this electrolyte, we have to supply very high current and with very low potential difference. 
and whatever the electrolyte we are using in this electrolyte machining process is a water-based neutral salt solution. In electrolyte electrochemical machining, the electrolyte is so chosen that there is no plating on tool and shape of the tool remains unchanged. The important points we have to remember in this electrochemical machining process is no plating or no layer will be formed on the cutting tool and at the same time no tool changes come into the picture. This is the main important points we have to remember are the main points of this electrochemical machining process. If the closed gap means we have to maintain a constant gap in between the tool and workpiece that is known as inter electrode gap. That inter electrode gap of 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 mm we have to maintain throughout the machining process and it can be controlled by, by a, a servo control mechanism like that. By means of this the servo control mechanism we have to maintain a constant gap between the tool and workpiece. So this is the diagram which represents how this tool and workpiece. It is in the initial stage of electrochemical machining process, and this is the workpiece, and this workpiece is acts as an anode and is connected to the point tube terminal, and this is the tool, and this is acts as a cathode and is connected to the negative terminal. This is the initial position. The shape of the workpiece is completely rectangle in shape, and our requirement is and this the tool whatever the shape of the tool is there the same form or the same shape we have to reproduce on the workpiece so this is the electrolyte and after some if you supply the high current and low voltage in between this tool and workpiece after some couple of uh, minutes then automatically because of this uh, controlled anodic dissolution see whatever the shape of the tool the same shape will be reproduced on the workpiece means the material is removed from only the workpiece that too whatever the shape is there on the tool the same shape is reproduced on the workpiece and without damaging the shape of the tool this is the important point or the main the feature of this electrochemical machining process coming to this the process how the machining or how the material is removed from the workpiece see during this is the workpiece and this is the tool and this is the container so here we have used nacl is the neutral salt solution and this tool is made of some tool low carbon steels so this is the this is the workpiece the workpiece is made of low carbon steel and this is the tool the tool can be made from the like a graphite or copper or brass or like a good conductive materials and this tool is connected to the negative terminal and that is acts as a cathode and the workpiece is connected to the positive terminal and that is acts as an anode see during this electrochemical machining process there will be a reaction occurring at the electrodes these are the two electrodes. Tool is acts as one, one electrode, and workpiece is also acts as another electrode. Here, at the tool and workpiece electrodes, some chemical reaction will be takes place. Okay, and those reactions we are going to discuss in, in the upcoming slides. Let us take an example of the machining of low carbon steel. So, our requirement is to machine this workpiece. The workpiece is made of low carbon steel, tool, uh, steel, which is primarily a ferrous alloy, mainly containing the iron. So this low carbon steel is, is a ferrous comb. In this ferrous, as we know that the main chief component is the iron. For electric electrochemical machining process, uh, machining, uh, machining of this steel, generally a neutral salt solution of sodium chloride NaCl is taken as the electrolyte. So for this one, for this type of workpiece materials. Okay. And we can use this uh, NaCl as a electrolyte. And the electrolyte and water undergo a ionic dissolution as shown in the above. So when you mix this water and electrolyte NaCl, and the chemical reaction is anodic 
dissociation is takes place when you apply this low potential and high current. This NaCl is decomposed into Na plus and Cl minus ions. At the same time, the whatever the water is there in this NaCl, uh, so a neutral salt solution, whatever from this water, this is decomposed into H plus ions and hydroxyl ions, that is the OH minus ions. As the potential difference is applied between the workpiece, there's the two workpiece, there's the anode and the tool, there's the cathode, the positive ions move towards the tool. So the tool is acts as a cathode, means positive ions are moved towards the cathode, means towards the tool. And negative ions moves towards the workpiece, that is the anode. The positive ions are like H plus ions and Na plus sodium ions. And negative ions are like um, Cl minus chloride ions, so Cl minus ions, and o hydroxyl ions, OH minus OH hydroxyl ions. Thus, see, the hydrogen ions, that is the H plus ions, will take away electrons from the cathode. Means the uh, hydrogen ions, means H plus ions move towards the anode. There is the towards the workpiece and it takes some electrons and then convert into the hydrogen gas means 2 H plus plus 2 E minus combines hydrogen gas will be there formed. Those hydrogen gas will be liberated and it comes from the container or tank. At the cathode, the reaction will be like the Whatever the uh, workpiece we have taken, that is a low carbon steel. The main component in this low carbon steel is the iron. So these iron atoms are decomposed or by losing the two electrons, it converted into Fe++. Okay. Within this electrolyte, these iron ions Fe++ would combine with the Cl minus ions means this, this is the positive and this one is the negative. These iron ions combines with the Cl minus ions, that is the chloride ions, to form iron chloride. That is the FeCl. And similarly, these sodium Na plus ions combines with the OH minus ions and forms sodium hydroxide, that is the Na plus plus OH minus. It is combinedly formed as a sodium hydroxide. And these are the sludges or whatever the material is removed. These iron ions are removed from the workpiece. In the form of ions, the material is removed, decomposed or dissociated in the form of ions. And it combines with the chloride ions and forms this FeCl2. And again, whatever the sodium ions are there, those ions are combined with this hydroxyl ions and forms sodium hydroxide and these sludge these forms as sludges and those sludges are removed with uh, and it will uh, carry away by electrolyte and those sludges are removed by means of the proper filtration process in practice this FeCl and FeOH ferric hydroxide would form and get precipitated in the form of sludges means unwanted material in this manner, it can be noted that the workpiece gets gradually machined and gets precipitated as a sludge. So, whatever the material is removed from the workpiece in the form of this FeOH and FeCl2 and finally precipitate and forms as sludge, those sludges are removed or filtered properly by means of the filter, right filtration. Moreover, there is no Coat, there is no coating on the tool. So in electroplating process, what will happen? Whatever the material is removed from the anode, that is the tool, that is the anode means workpiece. It is formed as a layer on the tool. But in this electrochemical machining process, as we said that previously said that this electrochemical machining process is reverse of the electroplating process. It means that whatever the material is removed from the anode, that is the workpiece, that is not going to form any layer on the tool. Simply it is going to remove with the help of this electrolyte. 
only the hydrogen gas evolves at the tool arc cathode. As the material is material removal takes place due to atomic level dissociation, the machined surface is of excellent surface finish and stress free. Means we here it is not going to remove the chips uh, in the form of chips. The material is removing at the atomic level. Means very 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 small amount of material is removed and each and every second. So, because of that one, if the material removal rate is low, as we know that automatically the surface finish will be more and stress is also very, very less. So, whatever the components we produced in electrochemical machining process are having very good surface finish and that too, there is no stress will be formed on those components. So, now we'll discuss about the, the summary of reactions, what exactly happening at the cathode means the tool under the anode means at the workpiece. So, cathodic react means the reactions, what, what exactly taken place at tools. These Na plus ions uh, by losing two electrons, it's converted into by uh, gaining one electron and convert into Na and this Na is clubbed with this water and forms NaOH and hydrogen ions. These hydrogen ions combines with the two electrons and finally forms this hydrogen gas and this hydrogen gas will be liberated or uh, enter into the leaves into the atmosphere. So, it shows that there is no deposition on the tool. Means nothing will be deposited on the tool as in the pro as like in electroplating process. But only the gas is formed. And whereas the cathode is, cathode, in cathode, the machining is iron. Coming to this anodic reactions, what exactly the reactions are taking place at the anode? The iron ions, Iron is will be decomposed by losing the two electrons. It is then going to be Fe plus plus. These Fe plus plus ions, iron ions, combined with the two, two chloride ions and forms FeCl2, very chloride. And one, some more, these iron ions, Fe plus plus ions, are combined with the hydroxyl ions and forms ferric hydroxide. And this Fe ferric chloride again combines with this. Hydroxyl ions and forms this ferric hydroxide and chloride ions. So, this ferric hydroxide is also dissipated and forms as a sludge. And those materials, whatever the material is, whatever the sludges are unwanted material is formed, those is carried away by means of this electrolyte process. And those electrolyte process, electrolyte, and those electrolyte is properly filtered before supplying to the machining zone again. So, these are the equipments. In the next class, we will discuss about this electrochemical machining equipments.